on a muddy trail in the Cassiar Mountains of British Columbia, Claudia and her crew are making a move. Make sure you give me a little bit of time. You're going to be up on my ass every hill. Yeah, not a problem. They're hauling the first load of equipment to the new mine site called Two Mile, 60 kilometers away. Two Mile is a place to be for us. Unfortunately, all our infrastructure is at Wolverine, and so we have to rip everything down at Wolverine and drag it to Two Mile. It's not a good thing to have to move. It's very costly. It's very stressful. And it's the end of the season. Hey, Mom, can you hear me? Yeah. Well, you can call me Bobby for that. I'm going to get out and look at him once I get to the bottom here. Okay. Dad's going to get out and take a look. This is very deep on the left hand side here, Dad. Okay, if you're making her mummy, you just let me know and I'll get out of the way. Good time. Over there, it looks bad. Oh, I have to go over here. That's why I wanted him to pack it. <sighs> Dear Lord, tell me. We're good. No, we're we're good. good. Go. Oh, go, Josh, go, Josh, go. The road to Mount is really rough. Two Mile is a hard rock jade claim, a site that has a personal connection to Claudia. My dad started there 40 years ago and wouldn't give it up. It's the one claim he held on to for the longest. And I think that this might be what we needed to really push us through this season. A week ago, Tomorrow morning, we head into Two Mile. Tomorrow morning. Claudia and Robin shut down their dynasty jade mine. We're chasing treasures now. And trekked out to Two Mile, where they discovered a potential jade jackpot. Wow, look at that. Oh, there's definitely jade here. This here is a whole big lens right here. Right here, too. We're just tripping over this stuff. But starting from scratch at a new site, more than halfway through the 100-day jade mining season, is a risky move. Sometimes you do have to pull the Band-Aid off and just uh, do the move, make the move. The crew will make multiple 60-kilometer trips from Wolverine to Two Mile. Today, they'll go as far as another mining camp called Boulder. I do, girl. Oh. Are we not too old for this It's just too much fun. Do I like moving? No, moving sucks. They'll leave the first load at Boulder and chop her back to Wolverine to break camp. How are you? Not looking forward to it. It's frustrating, but you just suck it up and do your job. I'm sure the guys aren't happy, but we're running out of time. I need to be mining two miles right now. Right now, right now. This is going to be the million-dollar rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jade makes people do crazy things. Always got to hurry up, right? We're hurrying. Spent all this time setting up camp, and then three years later, you got to move camp again. Yeah, we don't have enough time to do nothing properly, so we're just pounding stuff out and packing, and we'll be working late, starting early, and just not enough time. It's official, no more TV. At Wolverine, it's time to tear down the mining camp the Jade City crew built just three years ago. Let's go. Yeah, let's sure. Go. Yeah, let's go. Claudia brought in two extra helpers, Jojo and Eddie, to help speed up the move. Yeah, I don't think people understand that it is like a little village that you've created there because it's a home sweet home that you've lived in for years. I'm going to empty the kitchen. It's going to all move around. It's way too movie aroundy. We have to try to figure out the food, where to cook, when to cook, what to pack. Everything has to be torn down, all the walls, all the roofs. This way. All the beds. In this way? Good. <laughs> there. 
Just think about moving a house and then add 10 times the problems on it. It's horrible. Oh, I'm doing this <laughs> absolutely in the wrong order. My parents are stressed out for sure. We're on a tight, tight, tight time crunch. Screw your hot. You know, it's really hot as well. It's not, not an ideal thing. If, if Guy is probably going to break a, an egg on top there. Probably cook. It's going to fry, yeah, it's going to cook. It is 32 in the sun. Perfect. Hey, it's effing hot. But right now, we have no rain. We've had a real huge dry spell. Scorching hot, like 36 yesterday. I found shade. Seriously, you have no idea how much cooler it is behind this bed. <laughs> Gotta take her easy. You don't want to break down up here. 50 kilometers away, Scrappy Larry and his assistant Henry are rolling towards Wolverine. Well, the road is not there in a lot of places, but uh, uh, we, we've been in eight wheel drive all the way. There was uh, maybe a couple of good spots for about 100 feet. <laughs> but uh, I got Henry, my right hand man. He's uh, swamping for me today. Had a little bit of problems with the truck today. The, the, uh, I got a water leak someplace. We have to keep stopping for water. I can't, and I can't find the leak. Claudia needs Larry's heavy duty army truck and trailer to move all of her cabins. And we'll get going here. Yeah, there's a fire up here someplace. I don't know where it is. It looks like it's a little smoky up that way. Back at Wolverine. There's the fire plane. Checking out the fire. I keep an eye on all of BC. There was a whole bunch of lightning last night. Actually, that smoke is really smoky over there. Thick smoke is pouring into the valley, sparked from a forest fire nearby. But a forest fire is kind of serious with the dry that we've had. A little bit of rain that we've had here is not enough to stop a forest fire. And since it's coming towards my camp, it makes me nervous. Claudia calls a neighboring camp to try to get an exact location of the wildfire. Are you guys having uh, smoke issues at all today, too? That's the first we're hearing of it. We're getting socked in. Once we start smelling smoke, I guess, then it's time to run. Two down, two to go. There's mice nests everywhere in here. Oh, it's hot on the inside. At Wolverine, Claudia's crew is struggling to tear down their old jade mining camp in the heat and smoke. It's very, very hectic, very busy, and very hot. And we've got a forest fire down the way. There is something holding it. No, well, unless there's a nail up my eddy there that I couldn't see. Yeah, it's overlap here. All this is is holding the plywood to the frame. But that's but they part go this of the way. wall. That's part of the wall. For, I think it's just. Just tight. Hey, she's coming. There. Now there's a broken screw here. Pain in the ass. It don't get worse than moving camp. Nobody likes it. And so everybody's got anxiety about it right from the get-go. Claudia tries her best to keep her crew's spirits up. It's Guy's favorite. Watch what happens when I show him this. Guy, what is this? Monkey bread! Mr. Marshall, hmm. it's gonna be hot. Uh-huh. Oh, that didn't come out too well. <laughs> the plan is to dismantle the entire camp and leave for the new site they call Two Mile later today. Scrappy be here in about three hours. We got a cabin and a half left to pull down. So yeah, not much time to waste. But the crew is moving slowly. On top of dealing with intense heat and smoke, they're starting to get sick. Three for sure down with the flu, Eddie, Gee, and uh, Jojo. So they're struggling through. How are you doing, Eddie? A few people got the flu already down in Jade City and brought it up here. Now half of the crew is gone, has got the flu. It's smoky, and you're sick. Jojo's sick. Gee's sick. We are getting sick, and we're running out of medicine as well. 
and people aren't going to be making the right decisions because their heads aren't clear. You're good. Okay, Guy, just swing it over here. No. The... So everybody's uncomfortable. Everybody's pissy. Drop her down. You got two people. Got to lower it down, Guy. Down. Okay, that's enough. Only one guy give directions. This is stupid. Robin, you get here, okay? okay. I can't have you interfering all the time. Okay. It's really slow, and what we need the most is fast. If we don't get this done really quickly, then it, we eliminate uh, mining days. The valley continues to fill with thick smoke. The forest fire seems to be moving closer. There's that plane again. Checking out the fire. I don't know how forest fires work. How fast can it come up this valley? It's really dry. You good? You got that? Yeah, we, we, yeah, go, we'll we get need it. all the quads filled, though, Josh. Can you fill all the quads for me? I am in. The, I was, like, like literally in the middle of loading the truck when you started screaming at me. Like, I'm not doing nothing. What truck? My gear from my cabin into this truck so that I'm ready to go. I'm not doing nothing. OK. OK, I don't need direction. Yeah, you do, because I need them all filled, please. <laughs> well. There's lots of smoke in the air, but hopefully we're out of here. If it is coming this way, we're out before it gets here. Claudia calls Jade City for an update on Scrappy Larry's arrival time. He's already hours late. OK, so we got to really move quickly. You haven't heard from Scrappy. OK, we'll wait for him, and I will talk to you later. Larry is stopped again on the road. He's having more problems with his truck. I got an airbag leaking. Losing all my air. I hope I got enough air. I'll have to try and fix it at camp. And we'll get going here. Well, we'll make maker. The airbags control the suspension on his trailer and are vital for the heavy load he'll be moving. I might be able to tighten it up. I, I don't know. OK. Coming in hot. Hours later, Larry and his moving truck finally rumble into Wolverine camp, almost half a day late. <laughs> oh, he must be happy 12 hours. Hey, how was the trip? Ah, horrible, but other than that, not too bad. <laughs> now they can't even hope to leave for two mile until tomorrow. And Larry's truck and trailer took a beating on the drive in. Gary, can you fix it with what we have just to slow it down? I mean, I can't stop the leak, but I can definitely slow it down. Gary thinks he can fix the airbag leak. One here, or is this the one? That's the one. And it's blowing through on the frame, so it's on the plate itself. But the tires are a bigger concern. What? Oh, this tire is really pissing. Crap, you going to look at this. You notice he sliced the tire coming in. The road's a little bit narrow for his truck, for the length of it. The biggest struggle we're going to have is the weight of the cabins with those tires. If we didn't have bad luck, we'd have no luck. Just watch these rocks. You're in the way, Josh. Right there. OK. Yep. Under smoky skies at Wolverine. Pretty damn hillbilly, I got to say. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going now. Mechanical problems and a flu bug have delayed the move to the new jade mining claim called Two Mile. Now a day late, the crew is hustling to get the cabins loaded onto the back of Larry's army truck. Oh, all right, you got her. <laughs> Quite the time crunch. We're hammering as many cabins and as many stacks of wood as we can get on Larry's deck. Here we go. We're going to burn out to two miles this afternoon and try to get there before the sun goes down. I'll come around here, Josh. Right now, we're a little behind. Watch your fingers. Because <laughs> we should be just tying down now and leaving. So we're definitely under the crunch. Oh, I guess it's good we enough. We need to go backwards more. Well, he's flush here. Scrappy Larry wrecked a tire on his way into Wolverine. Robin's worried the trailer won't be able to handle the weight of the load. Tighten her up. Time for me to empty the kitchen. There is no technique. It is make it as tight as you can and pray for the best. With the risk of a forest fire on the way, 
There's no time to properly pack up the kitchen for transport. Likelihood of it all staying is very unlikely. Well, if it rolls, it don't matter what you did inside then. That's right. Could you knock on wood now that you said that? Thank you. I don't want to lose anything, especially my kitchen. What do you think? I just close the door and go. OK. Close the door and go. If it breaks or if we lose it or we don't have a kitchen to cook. So yeah, it's gut-wrenching. Guy uses the excavator to maneuver the kitchen onto the back of the Bedford. The other way! The other way! There you go, straight back. Right in the middle. Right that center in the middle. Ah! It's off the rail, Robin! What? The kitchen's off the rail. I knew I'd lose the kitchen. I just had a feeling I was going to lose the kitchen this trip. It could have knocked the fridge out. It could have busted everything inside. There must be a lot more weight on this side, eh? <laughs> a longer gap, too, longer I guess. Gap. We're waiting too much longer. We'll be going tomorrow. It's getting too late to go. now. We'll be there by 10, 11 tonight. Hey, yeah, you want to try this again? The other way! Keep coming, Guy! Good. We're hot, we're tired, frustrated. It all adds up. The smoke from the forest fire is getting worse. And with each delay, Claudia is getting more anxious to leave. The whole valley is uh, filling up with smoke here really badly. Can you phone forestry? Tell them we think we have a forest fire, but it's never been as bad as it is today. And uh, we can't even see the mountains now. Now we smell smoke. So we're trying to get out of here as fast as we can. It's really bad today. Hey, we need a whole shit ton of blocking, Joe. Big, small, medium, everything we got. The kitchen is on the Bedford. Now the crew has to stabilize it. Oh, that kitchen's never safe, it's safe and sound sitting that high. We just got to make sure we got her chained down and proper, that's all. Not stable enough? It's pulling these blocks over. Yeah, I changed the angle. OK, we'll drop it Bring off. Bring it around. That's it? Yeah. OK, let's go. Done. No, no, we're not on schedule at all. No. We don't even have uh, all five cabins on there like the boys were hoping. So we'll see. Either more loads, or I can convince Larry to do another load, one or the other. Thank you for all the help. Right, safe, man. Yeah. OK, five hours only. With an eye on the smoky skies, the exhausted crew is finally ready to leave Wolverine. Oh, come on. My throttle just came off. I got halfway down the hill, and I'm going, no gas, no gas pedal. The pedal, done. Oh, come on. Throttle pedal broke on the Bedford. <laughs> the Jade City crew can't catch a break as they race to leave their old mining site, Wolverine. So brutal. OK, you go fix. I got to find a door hinge. Joe, a hinge, a door hinge. I got to build a throttle pedal, not to steal this one. Gary grabs a hinge off the door of the one remaining cabin. He thinks he can MacGyver a fix on the throttle pedal. Do we have any small bolts here? Well, if we have to, we'll use two zip ties. We just got to not take too long on this. Oh, yeah, I see how it goes there. You want me to put that in there? Yeah, so it fits right tight in that notch. Uh -huh. If we don't get this done really quickly, then we're losing mining days. So not a good thing. Yeah, try not to wobble it, Josh. Don't bend the bit. There it is. Went through. Okay, okay, right there now. Hold it. Okay, take it out. Get Please the it. screw in. Because <sighs> it'll hold it where it's gotta be. Be broken. Ah! These are useless. Oh, I know that, but that's all we had, so. It's OK. It'll be what it'll be now. We got to go. OK. Done. 
It's gonna be a midnight kind of night. It's 5 p.m. and the exhausted crew is finally leaving Wolverine. And after a disastrous few days, Claudia is wondering whether moving to Two Mile this late in the season is the right decision. I think when you jade mine, you have to think fast on your feet. If we can mine for 100 days, that's pure luck. Things aren't going your way. You have to be prepared to move. It is smoky. There's a forest fire somewhere. We're just not 100% sure where. It's nerve-wracking being out here right now with this much smoke. You do the best you can with the decisions that you have in front of you. It's scary, but we got to keep going. Next time on Jade Fever. Time is money, and we're out of boats. That's so sketchy. If one of my synth points comes undone, everybody's food is going to be laying on its side. I've got two tires down for sure. I'm going to end up losing them off. Why can't I fucking hear him? This is why you don't split up. This is me being scared. Super bad decision.